Hello. One of the questions that I've been asked is, what church do you belong to? There's an obvious answer, um, and I, something I say every Sunday, along with so many millions of other people, and that is that I belong to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, as we find in the Nicene Creed, and I firmly believe that I do. And that's because I, I, I understand what one, holy, catholic and apostolic, what those words mean. We know what church means. To an extent, I suppose. But that's not good enough, is it? I'm an Anglican Catholic priest. And I should say right up front... I'm not a spokesman for the Anglican Catholic Church. I'm just a priest, and I must leave the real spokespeople to be my my bishops, my college of bishops. Anglican Catholic Church is separate from the Church of England and from the uh, Anglican Communion. We separated from them back in the 1970s. The Episcopal Church of the United States made the decision that it wanted to change certain aspects of the Catholic faith, in particular the, the idea of the sacraments. And that's their decision. They believe that you can change you can change the, the, the idea of sacraments, that they have the power and authority to do that. Well, Several thousand priests and bishops and laity said, we don't believe that. We have to follow the idea of what Catholic means. And that means, in one sense, following our bishops, as St Ignatius of Antioch would say. But it also means, as St Cyril and St Vincent of Lorraine would say, you have to be uh, aware of what the whole church says and the Catholic faith is not something that changes and that's because God doesn't change and it's because our need for salvation doesn't change I am as much in need of salvation as the person sitting in this spot 500 years ago that hasn't changed. So that's the situation. We are we are we are different. We are Anglican and Catholic. Now some people will ask what Anglican is, and that's a whole can of worms. Some people will ask what Catholic is, and that's another whole can of worms. In some sense, I've already told you what Catholic means. It's something that. Something that the Church has always believed in ev everywhere and by everyone. That's what the seven ecumenical councils say. And the Anglican Catholic Church, unlike the Church of England, subscribes to the full seven ecumenical councils. I think Thomas Ken, Bishop Thomas Ken, says that you. He only subscribed to the first four. Well, that, that, that sort of ex explains some of the difference. So in a sense that means that we are, in many ways, very little different from the Orthodox Church. Admittedly, we're, we're pretty young from an institutional point of view, and that means we're still finding ourselves out a little bit. But that's, that's part and parcel of uh, being Christian. We have to live and work out our faith and work out our salvation. Fear and trembling, as St Paul says, but we need uh, the grace of God with us and the Spirit of God working within us. So you'll find us, as I say, in this country we're, we're very, very tiny in size. That's okay. Um, the 
church started with uh, 12 apostles um, so why can't why can't we sort of grow that way as well but we do we do what we can our standard of worship is from the book of common prayer from the 1549 version in this country in the united states they have the 1928 prayer book there 1928 prayer book and that's the one that they've grown up with it's in their blood 1549 is ours and for our masses we use the gregorian canon or the 1549 canon Many ways you'll look at us and you'll say, oh, they look Roman Catholic. And that's because we have to admit that the faith in this, came, this country came to us via Rome. Not in AD 597, but before then, when, uh, when the Romans started populating Britain, there were already... Anglicans here in the first century. They weren't called Anglicans then because the Angles took another, um, what, 900 years to invade? Something like that. But on, this isle, on these isles there were Christians long, long before St Augustine of Canterbury. So we have a historic faith. We have a faith that's built on the culture of the, these isles as it has progressed. And we have a Reformation too, um, though we have to read that Reformation in the light of the first thousand years of Christianity before East split from West. And I guess that's where we differ from being Anglicans. Uh, Anglicans will say that uh, their expression of faith begins in 1534. That's not what they mean. That means where their expression comes forth, and they understand it. They can't write off the first 1,500 years of, of uh, Christianity, then they won't. But they will regard themselves as Protestant, and that's okay, that's, their, that's how they read it. We don't read Anglicanism that way. Um, that's why we talk about Anglican as being an adjective rather than a noun because Anglican for us is something that's grown out of this country and from which the Book of Common Prayer is an expression but it needs re-reading in the light of the, the first millennium. And that all sounds very complicated. What does it mean practically? You see that I look very much like a Roman priest or a Church of England priest. Um, I'm very little different from either of them, really. I have my separate. I have our separate bishops, but we are a church that is committed to reaching out to like-minded Christians, to the Christians who regard the first thousand years as being important. There have been many sort of little spats and. Uh, disagreements in our in our history, but that was the case in the Reformation back in the early 1500s. But they're healing; we're coming together, and hopefully we will continue to unite and become a uh, a, a sizable denomination in our own right. Though I use the word denomination very carefully. That's who we are. The question is whether you might consider joining us. Well, if you look at the website, you'll see we're in, we're in far-flung places. But given that we've got internet technology, you can do you can look at our online services and talk to various members of the clergy. And if you're interested, you can think about joining up. We can only grow if people join up, and if we say, oh, I'm not going to join them because they're too tiny, well, that's <laughs> how to expect them to grow with that sort of attitude. But we can grow, and we are growing. 
we are working hard with universities to train our priests, and we have a whole program of um, development and education, and we continue to grow. So if you would like to look at us and consider us, you're welcome to. Um, and perhaps I might say something a little bit more later on. But that's essentially who we are, the Anglican Catholic Church. Not the world's largest church, but as the old adverts say, we do exactly what is written on the tin. Nonetheless, God bless you, and may you be comfortable in the church where you are, and grow with that church, and I hope one day that we will all be united in one communion. God bless you, and please pray for me.